So this sidewalk survey is downtown in um, Brockton. We're about a block from uh, Legion Parkway. I'll have to look up later the name of this street. But I came here to see this tree, which is kind of a new and an old tree. It's maybe 25 feet tall. That growth has occurred since I've lived in the Bridgewater area, since I've lived in the Brockton area, because this was a tree that was cut down. Uh, it was cut, you can tell by the original uh, base here, this was quite a large tree that had extended out into the sidewalk. And it is famous as, as it says here, famous historic site. <laughs> um, under this old sycamore tree were held many meetings to help free the slaves. It's also stationed on the Underground Railway. People of historical fame who once visited here were William Lloyd Harrison, Wendell Phillips, Parker Pillsbury, Amaja Bloomer, Dr. Mary Walker, Lucy Stone, Lucretta Mott, Henry Blackwater, and Frederick Douglass, most famously. And Topsy of Uncle Tom's Cabin fame, I think an historic, uh, a, a fictional character. This tablet is the gift of the class of 1959 Brockton High School. And so sometime around 2000 or a little after, I became aware of this tree as it was threatened to be cut down because you know, a tree gets to a certain size and it needs to be cut down. So they cut down the original tree, but they saved some uh, material from it that they were able to graft at an arboretum and re, um, regrow it. So it is, it's restored here because this is a, an important site in the history of the liberation of, of African Americans in the United States. Uh, this is where people used to gather, as you may have heard during the um, during some of the uh, uh, de public demonstrations uh, three or four years back. Uh, there were a lot of situations where people were speaking publicly, and rather than using public address systems, they would just speak loudly and other people would repeat. In this case, people would just speak loudly and everyone else would be really quiet and listen. So Frederick Douglass spoke here. Uh, and we can look up uh, that speech. Uh, and this is behind uh, another site I'm going to pause and walk, uh, walk up to. So here I'm recording just a little bit at the back of a church. Uh, this is the Messiah Baptist Church. Uh, just to show you that every Sunday morning there is live jazz music. I've been here for Sunday morning services, the traditional service at 1045. I've never quite made it to the, uh, to the eight o'clock. Even though I'm up, I'm usually not up and traveling on a Sunday morning that early. So here's kind of a jazzier image of the jazz, uh, representing the jazz service. This is the front door, there you see your professor. The front door at Messiah Baptist. And um, I'm gonna step over here to the kind of original entrance. There was a new addition put on uh, much later, but the original church uh, here opened in 1897. Uh, this, this space is not where the current uh, sanctuary is, but I think it was the original sanctuary. And I just wanna mention this uh, congregation. We've actually included this on the tour before, um, the tour of the class. We've come and visited with uh, Reverend Michael Walker, who was the founding, not the founding minister, but the, the minister who rejuvenated this church in the 1980s. And he met with us uh, in the 2014 version of the class. Um, he has since uh, retired, but uh, the church still goes strong. This is a predominantly African-American church. Uh, anybody is welcome, but I would say 95% is African-American. Um, and uh, I'm, uh, we're overhearing some folks who are loitering just, just outside of the no loiter sign <laughs> for the church. But this church is really uh, an important um, part of the community, both the community within Brockton and, and beyond. Uh, it has been a place of refuge for, uh, for the people who, who come here and a place of service and a place that, that really works at community development. So. One problem that a lot of um, people have in, in uh, 
low income and or minority communities is not having enough access to capital. And so there's a credit union here inside the building that's open uh, to members and friends of the church. And it uh, helps people to develop savings habits and, and an ability to save up and build their own wealth internally uh, you know, as, as, um, as members of the community. Where I became uh, connected to this church is that I attend a Unitarian Universalist church in Bridgewater. I'm a member of that. And this is a church that is uh, predominantly uh, Anglo, predominantly white church. And we um, really felt the need to uh, make better connections with African American communities in our area. And our minister, who was white, uh, as I think most of our, all of our ministers have been, um, formed a friendship with the, the African American minister of this church, and they started doing things together, organizing things together. And so we learned a lot from each other. We would attend each other's services, and um, this is actually where I really learned about um, the movie The Help and how a lot of white folks saw that movie and felt pretty good about ourselves watching a movie because it decries racism uh, in the old South or the, the 1950s South. And it does a pretty good job of that. But watching that with an African-American community uh, or discussing that with a, an African-American community that had a much more sophisticated understanding of what was going on in that movie uh, was quite quite valuable. And the way we did it was that uh, we had a discussion in which um, the local members of this church, after serving, uh, sharing a very nice meal with us, sat down inside a circle. And we sat down, members of my church sat down outside the circle. And for the first half hour, we just listened, uh, which for Unitarians is kind of hard because we like to talk. And so we learned a lot about um, systemic racism from kind of the dialogue that ensued after giving the folks here a chance to really express how they, how they felt about that movie, what they understood about what that movie was doing. I'm gonna stop here.